swarm moving in. This is a swarm moving in. I thought they'd already moved in, but it must have been scouts. Look at them go. This is my top bar hive that has been empty, sitting on my deck with swarm lure in it. My goodness, look at this swarm. There have been so many bees in it that I thought they'd already moved in and I was worried about the fact that no bees had been um, flying in with pollen on their legs, so I thought, well, maybe it was a secondary swarm. But this is the real thing. They have arrived in absolute force. Amazing. They're already cleaning up. One of them just pulled out of the wax moth cocoon. <laughs> but look at them go. This is a great swarm. I couldn't be more excited. I just looked outside through my do doors to my deck and saw that there were a lot of bees flying on my porch and wondered where were they coming from and came outside to see this. Pretty, it looks like a heart. It's because they are upside down heart. They love my, my top bar hive. And I am beyond happy. The bees on the ground. One of them is still trying to get rid of that wax moth cocoon. This, this um, top bar hive was in my daughter's yard and it swarmed and failed to make a new queen when it swarmed last year. And I didn't find out about it until too late to do anything about it. So it just sat empty all last summer. And this year we moved it over here because this looked like a much better location for them. It's in the sun most of the day. And I was hoping, hoping, hoping this uh, hive would move in. I actually thought one had. It's been a week and there've been so many bees flying in and out of it that I thought a swarm was already here. But clearly it has just arrived and this is a big swarm. Of course the top bar is a big hive. It looks like a coffin. I told my children, since I am OLD, when I'm dead, they can just put me in it. I would just fit. So glad I was home for this. I've been in the mountains and just came home about an hour ago. So the air is calming down a little bit. There are not as many bees swirling around now. It usually takes a swarm a good five to seven minutes to move in. Okay, that swarm lure is magic. But look, the entryway is getting so that you can actually see it. It's not completely covered with bees at this point. It's quarter to five in the afternoon. I've always been told that bees swarm between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., but not these bees, and not the bees that moved into a hive that I had as a bait hive last year. They came about the same time. Maybe the bees in my neighborhood swarm at five o'clock. We're an unusual place in Decatur, Georgia. I was so excited that I tripped over a flower pot and fell flat on my face, so I missed a couple of minutes of filming this because I was busy picking myself up off the ground. Now look, you'll see most of the bees that were on the, on the concrete under the hive have now gone up to join their sisters. And what, look at the procession going in the door. It is just so cool. Their purpose is to go in the entrance and join their mother and their sisters. And they are certainly of a one-track mind. Everybody's heading to the entrance. So you can see the heart is getting smaller as the bees are moving in. Although I did think it's very cool to look at them close up. As you can see, it's a well-made top bar hive. If I were bees looking for a home, this might be exactly what I'd be looking for. Not to mention the fact the nice homemade swarm lure now look how much smaller it's getting. The, the heart is not hanging off the bottom nearly as much anymore. But what a hive it must have come from for this to be half of the hive. Huge swarm. I bet at the beginning it was a good two cat swarm, maybe three. The, the number of bees on the exterior of the hive is certainly put thinned out. Look at them going into the hive. To me, swarming is such an interesting phenomenon. So driven to split the hive in half and so driven to be with their mother. This is a great hive. It has lots of drawn comb in it. 
it had some honey, but I think it got robbed out after I moved it into this um, new position. Now look how much different the hole looks now. I mean, the entirety is what I mean by the hole. They're not covering the entry anymore. And the heart has gotten misshapen and it's much smaller. Big transformation as they move into the hive. This is the first day of spring. So new life is coming to my apiary here on the first day of spring with the arrival of this gigantic swarm. Their single-minded purpose is to go inside where their mother is. Amazing how powerful the queen pheromone is as an attractant to these bees. The heart is much smaller now, the upside down heart. They've almost moved in. I just had my deck rebuilt behind this hive and told the workmen they needed to finish because swarm season was coming and I was pretty sure a swarm would move into the stop bar hive and they haven't painted it yet so now they're going to come and paint with bees flying everywhere. There's a hive here, there's a hive over there. So there are two hives beside the deck. There are six hives in my yard but they're scattered all over the place. I like having the top bar here on the concrete. It just makes it so much easier to work. And the sun is gonna be so nice for everybody. The sun's about to set now, which is why the hive's in the shade. But almost all day, it's in the sun. One of my chickens is like, what is going on over here? Yeah, come see, Percy. We have a swarm moving in. There's a swarm. Y'all are such curious little guys. Come here, Maggie. Y'all can come see the swarm. In a few minutes, it's going to be all over but the shouting. The follower board in the top bar hive is about halfway down the space. I'm going to have to move it fairly quickly, I imagine, to give them more space. This is such a huge swarm. A very different sight now than what it used to look like. So we're almost done. They're almost moved in, but not quite. There's this remaining little triangle of bees. Amazing how much smaller it is at this point. Look how much smaller it is compared to that huge heart of bees hanging upside down, a heart hanging off of the top bar half. We're now down to a triangle with a couple little edges as they are truly moving in. Oh, I am so excited about this. Nature is an amazing thing, isn't it? And here these bees decided to split themselves in half and come and live with me. And I'm so grateful. This is a plug though for the swarm lure that I taught you all how to make in one of the beekeeping tip videos. It really works and here they are and they are thrilled. That little bee with her rear end up in the air, the ones with their rear ends up in the air, are saying, this is where mama is. Come on. Come on inside. They're opening up their nose and off gland at the very end of their body. See that one? She's doing that to say, come on in. This is where mama is. I walked out to, to discover this happening at 445. It's now 540, almost an hour later, and they still haven't all moved in. But we're getting close. See, now you can see a little corner of the triangle bearing up um, so that we're going to have some empty space there. And eventually all these girls will be in.